Chris is a good guy. At one point, 21 gigabytes. It's going to take three to go that All right, so um, we get a chance to see this video That's again. Awesome. And the explanation, but first, um, doctors are looking at 20 more potential cases of a polio-like illness that is partially paralyzing some children. Sophia Jarvis is one of at least five kids in California hit by it, and she lost the use of her arm. Doctors are begging other doctors to be on the lookout, given that polio is considered a disease of another generation. The prognosis that we've seen so far is not good. Uh, most of the children I've seen have not recovered uh, use of their arm or leg. I'd like to say that Sophia is still a healthy young girl who's thriving. She goes to preschool, she does dance, and it, we were very lucky that it only affected her, her left arm. I was with her in the ER when she was having trouble bleeding. I know that we are so lucky that she's here, and I know that many families go through losing a child. So we're so grateful that Sophia is with us today, and she's going to do amazing things. Those are beautiful comments. You know, Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta will be joining us here in a few minutes to explain for our parents who are watching more on this mystery illness and then at what point should you be concerned if your child, you're not sure, is this a flu or are they really lethargic? So more on that from the doctor. You know, the Pentagon plans to downsize the military by more than 80,000 troops next year. 3,000 soldiers are already getting pink slips must now adapt, innovate, and make difficult decisions to ensure that our military remains ready and capable. Defense Secretary Hagel defended the cuts, saying that the U.S. needs a smaller, high-tech military. But some elected leaders say they're ready to fight this plan. We think that uh, they are very important to the national defense of this country, as well as to helping us in times of emergencies in our individual state. It really is a slap in the face to anyone who has served over this past decade multiple times and left their life to do this. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted, quote, this is another dumb idea. The Obama administration is disconnected from the realities of the world, unquote. Some soldiers may learn that they're losing their jobs while they're in the middle of service. And yet others are noting how concerned they are about getting a job when they are back in civilian life given that uh, the unemployment rate for vets who serve in Iraq and Afghanistan is at nearly 8%. Fans are remembering a writer, director, and a ghostbuster. Harold Ramis died yesterday at the age of 69. I have a radical idea. If the North Swings both win, we could reverse the particle flow through the gate. How? We'll cross the street. Ramis' writing credits did do no span decades of comedies like Animal House, Caddyshack, Stripes, Groundhog Day, and analyze this. Ramis died of complications from a disease that caused his immune system to attack his blood vessels. He'd been fighting this for about four years. Ramis' co-star Bill Murray said he earned his keep on this planet. God bless him. And Dan Aykroyd tweeted, deeply saddened to hear of the passing of my brilliant, gifted, funny friend co-writer, performer, and teacher, Harold Ramis. Steve Carell, who worked with Ramis on The Office, tweeted, Harold Ramis, funny, gracious, kind-hearted, a joy to have known you. One family in Indiana gathered on their deck of a clubhouse for a photo with a decade way this video is just now coming out, showing what happened during this Christmas time photo. Uh, the family is suing the company that built the deck and the homeowners association. I was in shock. I mean, I said, how could this happen? Some people called this a freak accident. You know, a meteorite hitting your house would be a freak accident. This was going to fall one day. And the family says that three of the relatives still cannot walk because of their injuries. The company that built the deck tells affiliate WABE it's not responsible because the deck is more than a decade old. No word from the homeowners association. Man, that's shocking to see the video. It's five minutes after the hour. The cold temperatures gave us, well, not everybody, but most people maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds of a break, and now they're back. That's right, I'm cranky about it. I don't How blame you. you. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Hey, good morning, Robin. I don't blame you at all. I mean, we've got 70s over the weekend across the deep south. Now it's going to be replaced by 40s.